Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to do model analysis of simply supported beam. We have taken a material property of Young's model as 210 gigapascal, Poisson ratio is 0.3 and density is 7850 kg per meter square meter cube. We are using SI unit, we are doing dynamic analysis. So in our case, this is our problem. So here we are going to fix it. Here we are going to give roller support. So uh, the length is 800 mm. That means 0.8 we are going to use. And breadth and height are 50 mm. So 0 0.05 we are going to use. So density, everything we have specified. We are going to calculate natural frequency of this beam. So this is the analytical result. This is, the, this is the first frequency, second frequency, third frequency. So in that frequency, it's going to vibrate. Now we'll calculate using Salameca. Now open Salameca. Salameca is the finite element software which has geometry module, mesh module, and code aster as a solver for finite element analysis so and it has fair away for post processing so these all are free and open source go to geometry so I just want to create the model now so our model is 0.8 meter this is I'm going to use length in x direction so go to new entity, primitives, box, so length in x direction, 0.8 meter, remaining are same, 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. So this is the beam, I'm going to use it, just apply and close. This is I have modeled in x direction. Now we'll right click, create group. Now I'm going to create a group for applying the boundary conditions. So this is, I'm naming as beam, just apply it. I'm going to fix the edges. This edge, I'm going to fix it completely. Just add, fix x, y, z. Just apply. This edge, I'm going to add. This is, I'm going to fix only in y and z x direction it can freely move y is it just apply it now we have created the groups so there is no load because we cannot apply load in modern analysis now we will save this file go to file save as pictures code aster so model analysis I'm just saving here so already there is a name so I'm just giving two so now I have saved this file now we'll create a mesh just go to mesh go to mesh create mesh so go to this is a simple geometry we can make x done quadrangle mapping wire discretization local length it is showing 0 0.08 will divide by 10 it will make fine mess so I'm not going to divide by 10 0 0.02 just compute so this element size is enough if you want to make finer we can make finer so for making finer just go to right click here edit mesh we can change the value here I'm just making 0 0.1 means it will generate 0 0.1 compute so this is the way we can find the mesh so these are the groups we have two edge groups one volume groups now we can save this file using control s now we'll use aster study model to generate the command file so I'm going to use stable solver so
here there is option called add stage with assistant just go here there is option called mode analysis so here we can only use 2d and 3d meshes so ours is 3d mesh and simple, simple geometry so this is make it 7850 next so here I just want to fix it as XYZ just say OK here YZ first in fix XYZ I just want to fix it in all direction fix YZ only I just want to fix it in Y and Z direction go to next so now we can specify a different way I'm going to specify only the number of frequencies I just want to calculate 15 number of natural frequencies so it will calculate eigen values from that it will calculate the frequency this is the another way of calculating model analysis is called as eigen value analysis just go to here we'll save the results Pic pictures codaster so model analysis now here we can give the name for comma results file i'm going to give model dot underscore one dot rmad this is the output file it will say model underscore one rmad finished so whatever we have specified it will take and it will solve so in pre-analysis it will assemble this command to uh, calculate the stiffness and mass matrix and this one is the uh, solver for model analysis now we are saving the displacement now just save this file now we can run this file just go to history view here just click this press button keep the results change the value into 5 second run this case in salamaca now we can install in windows also so it is free uh, we can download and we can install and we can open and use this is a free and open source hardware now i'm doing in ubuntu now it is solved see there is no error now we can go for post passing so first we'll check the frequencies so just go here go to the pictures code aster this is the folder now we can see there is a file called study2 because we have named the cell of file as a study2 so the same folder we need to check study2 run the case here here there is a file file called message just open this file now we can check this message file so here you see this is the first frequency is a 182 the second frequency is 235 similarly it goes on it has calculated 15 number of frequencies so so now we'll see the deform shape in for first frequencies now we'll open the faraways right click and open go to the folder pictures code aster here our folder is this one I have named as model underscore one dot rmd just open just apply it now you can here also you can see these are the num now frequency as calculated so if the excitation frequency of this beam is matches with any one of the natural frequency means the beam will get vibrate and it will fail so for that only we have to calculate the natural frequencies so the first and lower frequency is 182 so we have calculated 15 number of frequencies any structure it has n number of frequencies we can calculate uh, 100 200 number of frequencies but only our interest is see, uh, the excitation the closer to the excitation frequency example we are getting our frequency excitation frequencies 2500 means we have to check the 2500 closer values 2541 we have to check it and we have to compare the deformations 
so just choose the deformation so the 200 and 500 value we will we have to compare it now we will check with the deformation safe so we'll give some 50 percentage of scale factor so now it's so the twisting is happening so there are two three node and it's getting twisting this way it's getting deformation in uh, 2541 similarly we can check with the first mode it's bending mode so if our excitation frequency is very close means it will bend and bend. So up and downs and it will vibrate vibrate and it will fail so this is the first natural frequency is the 182 the second natural frequency also it's bending in other direction third one is there is a node and in between it is bending positive or negative similarly for the fourth one fifth one is it is bending in this way like the like way we can check the natural frequency value and deformation safe so i'm just so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you